Hello, the purpose for this video is how to complete a SimNet exam. So as you know at this point, these tiles represent assignments and exam assignments are in red. There will be a unit exam at the end of each of the application units and so these are not optional. The pass out exams are optional, remember, and those are no longer displaying so I'm just going to use this particular access exam to, for the purpose of this demonstration. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've now initiated the exam. And before I actually click on click take exam, let me emphasize a couple more things. Number one, you can only take a SIMNET exam once. So it is very important that you be sure you are in a situation where you have good internet access because the exam is actually running on the SIMNET server and so you're going to have a lot of back and forth between your computer and the SIMNET server so you have to have good internet throughput if you're sitting there waiting for things to load that's going to take away your time on the exam see the unit exams you have 50 minutes to complete 50 tasks some tasks will require fewer steps than others but each question is basically worth the same amount. So now I think I'm good to go. All exams are closed note, closed book. You can't do other things while you're taking the exam and you need to be well prepared or you'll run out of time and the questions you don't attempt will be considered wrong. So with no further ado, let's get started. So it's going to take a little bit. This time you're not, time's not running until it loads. So start the exam. Now that the clock is running. So you'll see the clock running right up here. My display is slightly cutting it off, but it's 49 minutes and some seconds are ticking away there. And you can change the font size here if you might want to make this a little bigger. See what's happening. In my question area, that's what's changing the font size and making it a little larger. That's just a personal question, or preference, I mean. And this tells you you have one of 50 questions. You can jump around from question to question. So you do that by clicking there. I'll stay with the first question, but I'm just showing you how this works. Sorry, I'm getting that side thing to come out, load question. So we're back there. And so this then also tells you how many attempts. So for each question, you have three attempts. Once you've gotten incorrect three times, then it will just move you to the next question automatically, and you can no longer attempt that question. So it says, add the status quick start fields to the right of the degree name field. I'm going to intentionally do something wrong first so you can see what happens. If I click on something that is not the right thing to do, I thought it would close or give me incorrect by now. I guess it didn't. I'm intentionally trying to have it do something wrong. Finally, <laughs> I guess usually if you click in the wrong direction it's going to say incorrect you say okay and then notice what happens here one of my attempts was used up okay let's try our second attempt so I want to insert it said the status quick start field to the right of this degree name field so first I've clicked on that field I'm under the fields tab and now I click more fields. I come down to this quick start field and I click status and it says I've answered that correctly. So you see it now moved me to the second question and I have one of three attempts still available. Modify the width of the course description column to best fit for the data. So course description that needs to be selected again under this fields tab 
and I'm looking for the best fit. So I don't see a shortcut on the ribbon. I'm going to right click here to field width and then select best fit. And that's the correct answer here. So you get the idea. I'll just review and remind you that right now it automatically moved me to question three. But if I click this, I get the display of the questions and I can jump around or skip a question and come back to a certain question that I want to try. Select it here, say load question. So once you are done with the exam, then you are going to click this little X and it's going to ask you, do you want to end the exam? And you say yes, or it's going to submit for you if you run out of time. And you can see I only completed two questions, so I got two out of 50 correct, and it tells me my percent. So completing a SIMNET exam is fairly straightforward. If you come back to the assignments tile, what you are going to see is that in the access unit, we did have right here an access exam, and you'll notice that that's no longer visible because you can only take an exam once. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.